everybody, I'm G1 Rider with G1 Insights, and this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus on Leo. Thank you for tuning in. Please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Please also visit my website. If you discover that you would like a personal tarot reading or to purchase one of our beautiful candles for my candle line, Passion versus Pleasure. All right, so here we go. I don't want to waste too much time. Uh-oh, your cards are already falling out. That's crazy. <laughs> So this is for the Leo man and the Leo woman, okay? Now, if you guys have not already had the chance to check out your Mercury retrograde tarot reading, I posted for October 13th to November 13th. So I would love if you guys can check that out first because this reading will definitely give you a lot more insight to the previous reading that I just did for you because this is a lot deeper, a lot more focused on just you. So let's get into it and let's see what the universe has for you, my love. This is for your life and love energy for November 2020. Thank you, Leo, for tuning in. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so a lot of these cards actually came out for another sign. So what I like to do is instead of, I, you know, I don't like when the energy lingers into another zodiac sign. So I always try to make sure that we can get confirmation. So let's get confirmation on your reading, okay? It's interesting because I did shuffle like a thousand times way before I even pressed play or to record. So this is interesting. All right, so let's see your overall energy, Leo. It's for Leo. So I'm going to rise in on Venus on Leo. Overall energy for November 2020. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, now that's better. <laughs> all right, well, this one came out before too, but it's all good. All right, so we have dreams. Believe in your dreams. Ooh, Leo. Believe in your dreams. Okay, so it seems like as if, you know, if you've been getting like these different ideas or epiphanies or things that come to you, they may feel a bit like too far-fetched, unrealistic at first, right? But then it's a reason why spirits share this information with you. So you may want to take heed to the different things that are being shown to you at this time, even in your dreams or even things that come through people as such as myself or friends or um, spiritual guys somewhere else, you know. Um, I also see competition here. Um, it talks a lot about, you know, rebuilding your self-confidence. It's time for you to have courage, you know, to go for it with that dream. So whatever that dream is, again, if it feels a bit unrealistic, you know, you might want to kind of just still dive ahead and go after that anyway, okay? So it says here to have confidence in yourself, all right? You have the tiger energy, which is not too far from the lion, of course, but you're also being shot with like this amazing emotional energy as well. And it's allowing you the energy to want to transform or renew, you know, your spirit, to renew your vision, to believe in your vision again, okay? This also can represent like a lot of intuitive energy that is coming to you as well. Look how beautiful this card is, okay? Renewing your spirit, renewing your energy, okay? Different insights or advice from people that you know and love. Um, people coming together to support you in your cause, okay? But like I said, there's definitely a huge amount of transformation here. Now, I'm, I haven't seen that to a lot of, like, pretty much everybody this season because the month of November is literally all about transformations. It's all about new beginnings, starting over, starting fresh, Okay, not only that, but for the month of November, to me, it represents like that whole twin flame vibe, like um, that duo energy, masculine and feminine energy, that balanced energy. So it's so important that you pay attention to things that feel a bit out of sorts. Like if you feel like something is not right, you know, pay attention to that energy. If you feel like, hmm, 
something needs to change. I'm not really feeling this. I'm not digging this. You want to try your best to speak your truth, to speak your mind. You know, um, speak exactly about how you are feeling these days, okay? Don't withhold anything. This is the perfect time to vent, to express yourself, of course, out of love. But this is the perfect time to kind of stand up for what you believe in. And if something is edging at you, um, you know, making you feel like, no, I really need to do this, then honey, do it, okay? Follow your heart. Follow the beat of your own drums, okay? I see here good fortune. Now, I love when good fortune comes out because it talks about the newness, you know, starting over, reaching out for something good, um, good news coming in, good finances, um, some type of rewards coming in, okay? Now, this can also be a new beginning, starting over. Again, transformation. So this is really, really interesting. So we have some wisdom cards here but we also have some tarot cards and some love cards so we're going to look into your um tarot cards and hopefully we can get some more clarity on what this all means for some of you now keep in mind this is a general reading so for each and last every last one of you is going to play out differently okay not everybody's reading is going to be the same like so for instance if i'm a leo and you're a leo it doesn't mean that we're going through the same exact thing at the same exact time we obviously probably wasn't even raised the same way. So it's so important that you guys know what is in your birth chart. Check out your moon sign, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars, your Jupiter. Okay? It's so important that you understand. It's so important that you understand what success means to you. It's so important to understand what... Um, knowledge means to you, what creativity means to you, what family means to you. Everyone values are different. So this season, my love, the reason why I'm saying this to you is because you're going to be challenged with that. You know, there's again, there's a lot of emotions evolved, a lot of intuitive energy here. I feel like a lot of you are just kind of, um, you know, watch out for daydreaming as well. A lot of you are daydreaming too. Okay, watch out for that as well. But we have some tarot cards here, so let's look at the tarot energy and let's see if we can get some clarity on why dreams are here, okay? Try not to spend too much time in La La Land, okay? Here we go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> There's your energy, my love, the strength card, absolutely. Okay, you have the strength to get through whatever this situation is that you have been going through. Again, believe in your dreams, my love. Believe that you can and you will make it through. Okay, my love? Absolutely. Now, on top of competition, you got the four pinnacles. Like... I mean, it seemed like as if you you were on top of the world, <laughs> some of you, and you may not feel like you want to share your goodness with the rest of the world. Some of you could also be kind of holding on or reserving your finances for like a rainy day, but watch out for being too cheap, okay? Because anytime you hold on to something too tight, the universe can literally take it away from you. So you don't want to hold on to something too tight. So monitor your relationship relationship with your finances okay are you being too cheap are you not paying attention to what you're investing your money into okay it says here self-confidence maybe you haven't been feeling really confident because you feel like financially you're not where you want to be okay but that's no good excuse to kind of be like nope you're not getting none or nope i'm not sharing okay if you look closely at this person that's exactly what they're doing no I'm, I'm holding on to my shit. Like, this is my money. Now you cannot have it. Not right now. <laughs> Leo, okay, it's okay to say, you know what, okay, I'll let you borrow something. Or I'll let, instead of me letting you borrow, how about you just keep it? When you do stuff like that, when you just give, and you're not always expecting something back, you'd be surprised um, just how much the universe wants to give you back. So it's so important that we watch that for that type of energy. You know, um, I don't want to say selfish, but that selfish energy, guys, we have to watch out for that. Okay. Um, again, competition. Who are you in competition with? Do you feel like you have to compete with somebody for a particular position? Okay. Do you feel like, um, do you feel insignificant because you're not financially where you want to be? Okay. Like what's going on with you financially? Okay, are you not feeling emotionally attached? 
because I see good fortune here and the five of swords just came out but like I said I don't like to transfer energy over so I'm going to um, try to figure out why that energy came out for you please show us why good fortune is here let's get clarity on this card here okay good fortune all right okay 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 so you have the strength card all about eternity you know and then you have the nine of wands not giving up standing up for what you believe in once again Okay, it's time for you to allow magic to come in. It's time for you to embrace the newness, okay? It's time for you to embrace change, transformation. But I feel like you're like, no, I'm standing my ground. This is what I want to do. I'm going to do it. You have a lot of support here, though, Leo. And um, it's okay to stand up for what you believe in, but it's also okay you know, if you have people that are there willing to support you and love you and support your dreams and goals, allow them to be that. You know, everything doesn't always have to be a competition. You know, everything doesn't always have to be about being envious. I always get this for you guys for some reason. Like, um, in some, some of my cards that come out as the envy card or something, or... Um, I feel like you guys will move forward best when you're not worrying about everybody else and I know you're saying oh I don't worry about everybody else you know I kind of focus on myself I don't give a fuck about these people whatever you do because for once in your life you don't you're not yearning for that attention but it seems like everybody is like all up in your face bugging you getting on your nerves and part of you kind of like it but then the other part of you is like I just need a moment, you know? But I feel like it's only because I feel like you guys are going through a phase where maybe you have been through something that required a lot of strength. And maybe you did go through some financial difficulties. And maybe that is why you're so, you know, closed off when it comes to helping people. Because I feel like you've done that. You've been that person. You've given your all. And what did you get out of it? That's what I'm hearing from some of you. What did I get out of it? All I did was get disrespected. Nobody appreciated me. I was working and working hard. And I don't mean like a physical job, guys. I mean like just simply just working to kind of hold things together, to hold the family together, hold your resources together. And so it's like now when people are trying to come in and kind of give you advice or kind of tell you what to do, you have this energy of, no, I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. Because where were you when I was going through that? I didn't see you sitting here giving me help, giving me advice. So, Leo, I know it sucks, but, I mean, I feel like this is one of them, you know, it's so crazy because a lot, if you guys haven't watched your Mercury Retrograde Tavor reading, please do, from October 13th to November 13th, you'll see what I mean. A lot of this energy was very similar. You are standing your ground because you're like you a lot of you feel like you had to go through this all alone a lot of you feel like some people left you out in the cold and you were hoping wishing for some things to come true and now some things have come true for you you manifested that <clears throat> and now you know you again you were even you were wishing for this you were like, how come everybody else is happy? How come everybody else got love but me? How come everybody else is being supported but me? You know, that is who you are. You are, like, you are the seeker. You go out there and you seek. So when the attention is not being given, of course that sucks. But it's like now you're not even interested and you're trying to just be focused on your goals and your finances and rebuilding what you, what you felt like you've lost. 
now everybody is like on your tail, bucking the hell out of you, getting on your nerve. And you're like, I got this. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> and a lot of you are standing your ground and really feeling determined to just do it. And you still have some people that love you and support you that say, I don't care if you got it. Call me still if you need my help. Call on me. I just want to know that you're okay. I just want to know that, you know, everything is all right. That you're doing okay. That you don't need any money. That you're healthy and that you're full of life and ready to do things. I just want you to know that I got your back. If you find yourself being drawn to those type of people, my love, please don't scare them off. Please don't scare them away. They are here for a reason. Okay? So try your best somewhere deep down in your heart to be forgiven. Okay? Let's look at some love cards here. All right? But you have the strength to get through this as well, my love. Whatever this is, you have the strength to get through this as well. Wow, two cards came out on top of this. I don't know why. Um, let's put that back for some reason until we can figure this out. All right, so on top of the short card, you had the hand of cards. Take a chance, taking a risk, being strategic, okay? Um, you ever heard that thing where, you know, don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing all the time, right? Yeah. But when it comes to having full-blown support, and people got your back, it's okay to show that left hand. So once again, there's that energy of being like kind of closed off, not wanting to um, open up, not wanting to share, not wanting to show your love or to open your heart for people. So on top of the four of pentacles, you got the phoenix. Again, like I said, you guys are going through some new phase okay a form of transfer transformation thinking about rekindling your relationship if you guys have been dealing with some you know financial difficulties lately where maybe you couldn't be with your spouse and maybe um they weren't there to support you financially it doesn't mean hey because you were fucked up when i needed you and you wouldn't help me you know now that i got money i'm not looking out for you like that is the worst thing that you could do, my love. Do not do that. Do not knock somebody down because they were not able to be there for you when you needed them to be, okay? Open your heart. Try to find a way to forgive this person or these people. We have some twin flame energy here as well, which is the runner. And any karmic or soulmate twin flame energy, there's always like a runner and a chaser. <laughs> and again, I feel like at this point in time, you are being the runner. There is a fear of intimacy because you feel like, hey, every time I try to get close to you, every time I try to love you, there's some form of separation or there's some type of difficulty. There's some form of disagreements between us. It's like no matter how much I try to make it work, it just doesn't fucking click. And it doesn't mean that I don't love you, I don't care for you, but I'm tired of being heartbroken. I'm tired of being left out. I'm tired of you leaving me alone. I needed you, and you were nowhere to be found. I needed you, and you abandoned me and the children. I needed you, and you lied to me. You disrespected me. You left me in a position where I had to fend for myself. So right now, yes, I feel closed off. Right now, I don't want to be bothered. Right now, I don't want to make love. Right now, I'm not interested in having sex. I don't want to date. I don't want to go out with you. So for a lot of you, maybe an ex really did return to you. And I feel like a lot of you are working through those emotions. How do I forgive this person? How do I move on from what me and this person been through or what we had to get over? It wasn't an easy obstacle. Like, we literally had to fight to get over this thing. And for some reason, they think that it's supposed to be easy for me, and it's not easy. Leo, Spirit is telling you to try to find it in your heart to forgive this person. 
I don't think that they did it in a way to hurt you. But if we're going to look at the bright side of things, we have to know that if it wasn't for the situation happening, you wouldn't be where you are right now. You are stronger and better. So even if you feel like this person neglected you, if they disrespected you, betrayed you, I'm not saying you have to take them back. I'm saying to try to find it in your heart to forgive this person. This can be family, close friends. This can be siblings. This can be your spouse, someone at work, someone maybe they took your work ethic for granted. Try it. Try your best to find forgiveness in this situation. That is my advice for you, okay? So, Leo, I love you, and I would love if you guys can become one of my subscribers. I would also appreciate if you guys can visit my website, g1insights.org. The links will be posted below if you would like to book a personal tarot reading or to purchase one of our beautiful holiday candles, okay? Guys, we also go live every single Tuesday. Now, November 3rd, we will not go live because of the election here in this state, so we will not be able to go live or do any bookings okay for any personal readings but anything after that i'm your girl okay so message me reach out to me follow me on social media at g1 insights and i love you guys be good to yourself bye